guys and Merry Christmas. In order to celebrate the holiday today, I'm going to be making cranberry oat cookies, but a healthy version. So if you guys are looking for something sweet for the holidays, but something that's a little bit healthier, this is your go-to recipe. So let's get started. To begin, we are going to start by making a flax egg. Um, so this is a replacement for eggs and recipe. You're gonna take three tablespoons of water with one tablespoon of ground flax, and then you're gonna get a nice um, jelly-like consistency. So we're gonna mix that together, let it sit. I've already let it sit, but just as a little side note, um, next we are going to mix all of our dry ingredients into a big bowl. Dry ingredients, we are gonna start with oatmeal, adding in whole wheat flour, baking powder, cinnamon, and that is all. So we also have coconut palm sugar, but we're gonna add that in later. So we're gonna mix up the dry ingredients. Now we are going to add the wet ingredients into a bowl. So that's going to be a mashed banana. These cookies are great because they have a lot of nutrient rich ingredients in them. Um, so they're sweet, they hit that sweet tooth, but they're also healthy for you. Next, we're gonna add in applesauce. No, just kidding, agave. <laughs> Peanut butter. Vanilla. That flax egg we made earlier. Look at that. Perfect, no egg needed. And then also that coconut sugar. And then we're gonna mix that up really good. Okay, once you mix the wet ingredients, um, well, first off, I forgot to add a pinch of salt to the dry ingredients, so add that, that in. Um, and then we are going to add the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. I'm gonna mix that until it's well combined. Last but not least, we're gonna add in those cranberries, fold those in, and then we'll be ready to add them to a pan. All right, once you have the batter all mixed in, we're going to spoon them out onto parchment paper. Um, they're gonna be a little bit runny, and that, that is okay. Uh, and then flatten them a little bit so they are in cookie shape. So a lot of times with vegan cookies, um, they don't spread out like normal cookies because there is no butter in them, which is what makes them spread out. So when you're making them, a lot of times, like if you just put a ball on there, it's not gonna look like a cookie, so you wanna make sure that you kind of make the cookie shape um, before they go in the oven. Once you add all the cookies to the cookie sheet, then we are going to put it in the oven and bake it for about 13 minutes at 325 degrees. Okay, once the cookies are done baking, this smells amazing by the way, we are going to let them cool and then time to dig in. All right guys, the cookies are done, which means it is time to taste test. Mmm, so good, so moist. They are delicious. If you would like the recipe, make sure to check below. I will list out the ingredients. This is a healthy, Delicious cookie, still very sweet, very soft, so good. Check it out, and Merry Christmas.